Hi, my name is Donna from Nastasia.com. My good friends at AllFreeCrochet.com have asked me to do a tutorial video on the basics of crochet. This video is designed for the absolute beginner, but can be used by other crocheters to review basic techniques. This video is video number one of a two-part series. The first thing to do is visit your local craft store to purchase yarn and a crochet hook. The best yarn to get when you're first starting out is a 100% acrylic yarn in worsted weight in preferably not too dark but not too bright of a color. I highly recommend when you are first starting to use aluminum crochet hook in size H. The stitches and techniques used in this video will help you create this basic dishcloth. Place the crochet hook in your right hand, even if you happen to be left-handed. Next, place your thumb and index finger on the flattened part of the crochet hook. Wrap your remaining fingers around the lower half of the crochet hook. Next, we have to create the first loop in the yarn. Wrap the yarn around your left index finger in a clockwise manner. When you get to the top, insert that yarn underneath the existing yarn already on your finger. Grab the yarn and pull it through to form a loop. Now we need to insert the crochet hook into the loop. Take the yarn end to pull on it and gently tighten the loop around the hook. Holding the yarn gently in your left hand, raise your index finger to support the yarn. Put your thumb and middle finger near the bottom of the first loop to support it. The chain usually starts off every crochet pattern. Move your crochet hook under, then over the yarn, catch it on the hook and pull it through. Continue this under and over and pull it through for a total of 21 chains. In crochet, it is critical that you keep count of the number of chains and later stitches. After you have finished your 21 chains, we're going to begin the single crochet. The single crochet is the basic stitch of crochet. For this first row, we're going to skip that first chain. Insert your crochet hook in the middle of the next chain. Do your under then over, which will now be called a yarn over. Pull that yarn through to form a loop. You now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the crochet hook. Move on to the next chain and do the exact same thing. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. You will crochet a total of 20 single crochets. That first chain doesn't count towards the number of stitches. Once you've completed your first row, we need to add another row. The first thing we're going to do is chain one. Then we turn our work. We skip that first chain and do a single crochet in the next stitch. For this second row, as well as all remaining rows, we're going to insert our crochet hook underneath the two loops. Insert your crochet hook under both loops and complete your single crochet. Continue doing this until there are a total of 20 single crochets on this row. Then for the remaining rows, do the same. Chain one, turn your work, and complete your 20 single crochets. Please realize when you are first starting out to crochet, your work might end up looking something like this. That's okay. Crochet is an art that does take practice. If you should make a mistake, Take your crochet hook out, then slowly pull out the loops. Once you have removed the loops, insert your crochet hook back into the main loop and begin crocheting again. After you have completed 20 single crochets across and a total of 20 rows upward, it is time to finish off your work. Cut your yarn a few inches from your crochet hook, 
yarn over and pull through that tail. Now get a darning needle or a yarn needle, thread it with the tail, and weave in the ends. After you are finished weaving in the ends, now carefully trim the remaining yarn. I hope this video has helped you and please visit www.allfreecrochet.com for hundreds of free patterns, tips, techniques, and other tutorials on crocheting. And then stop by and say hi at my website at www.nastasia.com.